all, do you want to tell them what what we're doing? So Paul was like, let's just do a fun date night because we've been together for about over five and a half years and it's fun to do like a fun little date night once in a while. So he's taking me out tonight and he's not telling me anywhere we're going, but I'm excited and I am serving. So hopefully it's just good food. But we got all done up. Paul's wearing a nice suit. I am wearing this blazer from Zara, if you guys were wondering. And then this tank top I am wearing is from Aritzia. I will try to find links and link them below. And then I will definitely try to give you guys a full outfit um, overview. But my pants that I'm wearing are from, I believe, Zara as well. And then my boots are ragged though. I would definitely recommend. 
And then on top, I just add my Kosas wet gloss in jellyfish. It's just a pink, kind of clear. And it just adds like a nice shine. And I brought my black by far back.
just got home from the city. We had such a nice time. I am so grateful to have someone like Paul, honestly. I did not expect him to take us to a speakeasy. I didn't even expect um, RPM seafood because I've been wanting to go for a really long time. But the speakeasy was great. It was called Bordel. I've always wanted to go but never have. It's in the Wicker Park location in Chicago. And I would definitely recommend. It was like so cool and yeah, I want, now I want to go to more in Chicago or like different cities, but I had a great time. We had a great time and I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog of Paul surprising me and taking me out and our little date night. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you like videos like this and I will see you guys next time. Bye. We also stopped by Foxtrot tonight to pick up just some snacks for later. So, I already dug into these because they were so tasty in the car, but we got pita chips. I don't know why, I've been really into pita chips and they taste so good for some reason. We also got Gushers and I've never tried a cookie from here before, but big fat cookie. <laughs> this will be a nice sweet treat. It just has Oreo and Nutella. This looks dangerous, so maybe for another night, but. I did not forget, I wanted to show you guys what I got from Sephora earlier. I still have a package coming, but from in store, this is what I got. So the first thing I got is, I took off the wrapping, but is the Kaali Vanilla perfume. It smells divine. I feel like this is such a popular perfume, especially in the fall and winter time, but it just smells so nice. This is what the bottle looks like. It's really gorgeous. I'm really bad at describing scents, I'm not gonna lie, but it smells just like vanilla, like warm, kind of like amber. I really recommend this one. And the bottle is so cute. The next thing I got is another perfume. It's the Valentino perfume, born in Roma. So, okay, I can't take it out of the packaging, but it's the born in Roma. It's the regular size, I believe. I don't know how many fluid ounce, but I got the Born in Roma perfume and then it came with the roller ball, I believe. So that will be really nice. That's, I, I don't remember what this smells like to be honest. I just knew I had it in my bag. I really wanted it. I also grabbed the Sol de Janeiro hand cream and hand sanitizer. I do, I do already own the hand cream and I love it, but I wanted to try the hand sanitizer. I've heard that it smells delicious. It probably just smells like the Sol de Janeiro bum bum cream, which I love. So I know it's a little pricey for a hand sanitizer, but I feel like I cannot stand the really alcohol smelling hand sanitizers. And we use hand sanitizer all the time, so might as well get a good smelling one. Next, I got another Sol de Janeiro product. I've never tried this before. It's called the Bomb Dia Bright Cream. You guys see that? Everyone says this kind of smells like the Kaali Vanilla perfume, so let me see what it's all about. Oh, it really does. That smells really nice, yeah. If you like the Kaali perfume, I think you would really like this scent. It smells almost identical. So that's that. Lastly, I got two Summer Fridays products. I feel like Summer Fridays just always does it right. 
and I wanted to try out some of their new products. So the first one is the Summer Fridays Heavenly 16 All-in-One Face Oil. That's the packaging. This is what it looks like. I'm such a scent person, so. Okay, it truly just smells like oil, which I actually prefer. I really don't like when my skincare, like my face skincare, has a lot of scented products. So I've heard great things about this. So I will let you guys know if this becomes a routine in my skincare. And then I also grabbed the Summer Fridays Cloud Dew Oil Free Gel Cream, which I've heard great things about as well. It comes with this little applicator. And then it's just this pink cream. I feel like this will be really nice and light for like the daytime because I don't usually like really heavy moisturizers. Let me know if you guys have any recommendations because I am really interested in trying new products. So I am going to end off this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this short little vlog. I had such a great time with Paul tonight and I hope you guys like content like this too. Let me know if you guys want more videos like this and if you like these kinds of hauls. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video because it would really support my channel. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!